So, uh, hi, welcome to another uh, video review. Sorry I haven't done uh, any reviews or, or posted anything in the last um, couple weeks, but, you know, spring break and being busy preventing me. But I'm back with another video review. Uh, I wasn't thinking about doing another video review, and then I actually got two, uh, two people, I don't know, commented on my last one and said I should do more. So, I'm doing more. Um, today I'm doing, it's going to be a kind of different review, I'm doing Jimi Hendrix Blues. Um, as you can probably tell from the size here, it is uh, vinyl, it's a vinyl record. And I'm going to be doing today more of a, kind of an unpackaging, um, just talking about what's in the set as opposed to the music. However, I will say about the music... Um, Jimi Hendrix Blues it is not uh, an album that was released, uh, it was released after he died, um, and it's probably of all, there are a lot of albums like, you know, most really famous people like Hendrix was really famous, you know, coming out with Michael Jackson, now you see uh, Tupac, you see a lot of these after they die, um, they get kind of sets and they're kind of you know, some are better because, you know, some people were close to finishing an album or something like that. Uh, Jimmy was in the process of finishing an album, but he wasn't done. But there are a ton, I mean, a ton of um, albums released after he died. Some are pretty good. Some are bad. You know, there's a controversy with, you know, the producers went through and they had tracks where it was just Jimmy you know, playing guitar, you know, laying something down to work on in the future, and they went in and they said, well, let's add a drum part to this, but they didn't have any documentation of what kind of drum part he wanted, so, you know, people got upset about that, um, but there are some, you know, good things, some songs that were almost done, probably one of the strongest is, uh, Jimi Hendrix Blues, um, just because you have a lot of, you know, songs that, you know, first of all, he was finished with, and, you know, all, they have some really good finds, actually. People often wonder why some of the tracks on Blues, which came out, I mean, years after, there were, there were a lot, you know, in the couple, two or three or four years after he died, and this album managed to dig up some songs that weren't on any of the release stuff, and people wonder why such great stuff was you know, not on previous releases, but the album itself, um, really a, really a great, great album, probably the best, um, post Jimmy album you can find, um, if you don't like the blues, or, if you don't like the blues, then you won't, you won't like this album, because it is all blues, but if you're someone looking to get into the blues, maybe earlier blues, and you don't really like, you know, Robert Johnson, great blues player, but, you know, I understand that some people don't like sitting and just hearing Robert Johnson play with just one guitar and blah, blah, blah. This has a lot of things, you know, it does have tracks where Jimmy just plays guitar, but it also has very, has some very full, you know, tracks with a whole band and you can definitely hear, and there are alternate takes of maybe songs that you know Voodoo Child is on here. Um, but I would, so I would recommend the album, really, if you don't like blues, of course, don't get the album, but if you're into blues, if you like Jimi Hendrix and you maybe want to hear something more than just his studio releases, uh, I would recommend this. But this actually, this version I got is um, a new version that was released in the past I think last year they re-released all the studio albums, they re-released uh, Woodstock and uh, the BBC sessions, things like that. So this is an official Hendrix uh, family release. Um, really great, sturdy, um, sturdy quality. Um, it is a double CD, so you have this here and you've got some great, this is the one picture here, and here is the... Uh, other one, so really two great pictures, still all very sturdy. Um, one of the things I like about it is here, I'll take out one of these. Um, the records actually come in kind of this plastic, um, 
I don't even know what you call it, a plastic case, I guess. But, you know, most vinyl albums, you know, if you buy them from their original release, they have kind of a paper, uh, paper case like this, and sometimes they have, you know, information from the publishing company about, you know, check out these other albums or things like that. And the problem with paper albums, especially, you know, I buy a lot of my vinyls used, is that the paper covers are often, they're ripped, and, you know, they don't really protect the, the record that well. This is very good, sturdy quality, so that's great. Um, the one problem I do have is putting this back in here is often tricky. Actually, the first time I tried to do it, I, the top is here, so you take it out right there. But you have to put it in this way. You can't put it in like this way or any other way or else it won't fit in. But even when you put it in this way, there's often pretty much the plastic is just the size of the opening. So you have to really see I'm and it can get, it sometimes can get kind of jammed up and you have to pull it in and out and in and out a couple of times. But I guess for the quality of the protection you're getting, it's pretty good. Also with this, um, one of the big things it comes with, it comes with this um, booklet. It doesn't have a title on the front or whatever, so if you found it, you know, somewhere else you wouldn't know what it was. Um, some great, you know, pictures, um, some just information about a story from uh, one of his old girlfriends about how much he liked the blues and he'd go over to her house and play all the records and things like that. And another... I don't know if you saw that, another big, another nice big picture. I mean, all these pictures are really great quality, but probably, and then here's another kind of, uh, I don't know who actually wrote this, it doesn't really say, but just another thing about, you know, Jimi Hendrix, great guitar player, very rooted in the blues, another, you know, picture here. Uh, but probably my favorite part is you know, here back in the information, all the tracks on this um, record, they've actually talked, they have little, you know, sections, like here my train, here my train to come in, and then it says, it just has a little, you know, recorded in December 1967, um, what it was inspired by, because a lot of these songs, um, actually most of these songs are covers of things so it's good it's good that you can you know go through and you can say oh okay so you know once I had a woman and it talks about guitar slim or something like that so you don't really have to do so you can go oh if anyone asks you know where did the song come from or whatever that's there and then of course they have the you know who's playing on each um, here is that it? Yeah. Here, it's good, you know, with a, with an, with a record like this, an album like this, it's good with a lot of, you know, various songs that are from different points, you know, 1969, 1967, 1968, things like that. It's good to be able to go through and say, okay, when did he record this? Who did he record it with? You know, he played with a lot of different, he had his band, but he played with a lot of different people, so... It's good for that, but probably my favorite part, um, I'll show the front of the album again. Here's the front of the album, you know, Jimmy, part of it is Jimmy's face. If you actually turn around, you get the whole, and what this is, you know, kind of classic blues players, and it's a whole, uh, kind of a, I mean, there are, there are a lot of them on here, and even if you're, you know, even if you're just pretty familiar with the blues, you know, there are some people on here where you would look and say, I don't know who that is. You know, obviously they're the big ones, B.B. King and Robert Johnson and things like that. But, you know, you can't look on here and say, oh, you know, ex certainly I couldn't do it, but look on here and go, oh, I know every, every person on here. And the original CD, I think, didn't tell you anything about the cover, didn't tell you who everyone was, but the great thing is this, actually on the last page, has a guide. Really great guide, here it is, and it has, you know, everyone's name in the order where they are. It 
exactly as it is. So if you ever, you know, look at it and you say, oh, who is that? You can go in, find that, which I really think is great. And then, of course, on the back, another, you know, another great picture. This booklet, you know, it's a, it is a booklet, you know, but it is, it feels like good quality. So that is um, Jimi Hendrix Blues. If you're interested, go out and buy it. It's you can probably find it at most record stores because it is an it's a newer release, and it was kind of a big deal when they came out. They re-released all his albums, so check it out. <laughs>